President Obama has, supports the Employment Non-Discrimination Act. He supports the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. And then on a more difficult uh, issue, the, um, the Defense of Marriage Act was passed. Uh, President Clinton signed it and so on back in the 90s that says that the federal government does not have to recognize same-sex marriage even if a state were to legalize it. Well, now we have five or six states that have legalized same-sex marriage. And the people who get married in those states, such as me, my, my spouse and I are married legally in California. Um, after 27 years, we were finally able to, to uh, tie the knot, so to speak. But uh, if I were to die, he would, Michael would not be able to collect Social Security survivor benefits. If something happened to him, I wouldn't have any right as a survivor on his veterans benefits and so on because the federal government does not recognize our marriage. So that eventually is going to change as well. It may take a little bit longer, but we're, we've seen, the, and these changes haven't occurred overnight. They haven't occurred without a fight. People have been killed. You know, the, the Matthew Shepard case of, of this young gay uh, man being uh, brutally beaten and killed and so on as a hate crime. We have hate crimes all across the country against gays and lesbians. Uh, a few states have passed hate crime laws. Uh, you know, people have lost their lives. People have lost their jobs. People have lost their children uh, in these battles for equal rights. So there's been blood, sweat, and tears that have brought us along the way. Uh, some politicians didn't get reelected because they supported gays and lesbians. Uh, so there have been prices to pay. It hasn't all been easy. But we're reaching a point now where we have much more of a critical mass that there's no turning back. It's going to move forward. The question more is how quickly will it happen and how many more people have to die before we really, uh, you know, make it fully equal across the board for everyone or how many more people have to be denied uh, benefits uh, or denied housing or denied jobs or whatever. It's unfortunate that there will be people that will suffer in the meantime, but the time is coming and eventually we are going to have equal rights. Mm -hmm.